Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Milano Innovative District, or MID, a new urban development project and the insane mega project in Milan, Italy, that aims to create a hub for innovation and technology. This is going to be a really exciting video for you, particularly if you're interested in learning more about new mega projects and developments. So make sure to stick with us till the very end, and we're going to tell you all about this amazing mega project. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The Milano Innovative District, or MID, is a new urban development project in Milan, Italy, that has a major objective of establishing a hub for innovation and technology. Isn't that amazing? The MID project is currently in the planning and construction phase. The goal of the MID is to create a vibrant and attractive destination for businesses, organizations, and individuals in the field of science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. The district will be home to research institutions, startups, corporate offices, and other innovative businesses, as well as a range of amenities and public spaces. The MID is being developed by a consortium of private companies and public organizations, and the project is expected to be completed soon and will cover an area of several hectares on the outskirts of Milan. The MID project is an ambitious one, with the goal of creating a world-class center for innovation and technology in Milan. It is expected to attract businesses and organizations from around the world and become a leading hub for the development of new technologies and ideas. The MID project includes a number of features, and as we mentioned before as well, these make it a unique and attractive location for a lot of enterprises and companies in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math (STEM). One key feature of the MID is its physical layout and infrastructure. The district will be divided into a number of neighborhoods, each with its own distinct character and focus. For example, one neighborhood may be focused on advanced manufacturing, while another may be geared toward biotech research. The MID will also feature a range of amenities in public spaces, including parks, restaurants, and cultural centers. These spaces will be designed to encourage collaboration, networking, and the exchange of ideas among the businesses and organizations located in the MID. Another important feature of the MID is its emphasis on sustainability and green technology. The district will be designed to be energy efficient and environmentally friendly, with a focus on renewable energy sources and green transportation options. This commitment to sustainability is expected to make the MID an attractive location for businesses and organizations that prioritize environmental responsibility. Finally, the MID project will bring a diverse mix of businesses and organizations to the district. These will include research institutions, startups, corporate offices, and other innovative businesses, as well as supporting services such as legal and financial firms. The MID will also include co-working spaces, incubators, and other facilities to support the development and growth of new businesses and ideas. The MID project is expected to bring a number of benefits to Milan and the surrounding region, both in economic and social terms. One key benefit of the MID is the expected economic impact it will have on the region. The district is expected to create new jobs and attract investment to the area, as well as increase the value of the real estate in the surrounding region. The MID is also expected to attract and retain talented professionals and entrepreneurs, helping to build a strong and vibrant economy in the Milan area. In addition to economic benefits, the MID is also expected to bring social and cultural benefits to the region. The district will feature a range of amazing facilities which will be accessible to the local community. These spaces will provide new opportunities for social interaction and cultural exchange and could help to foster a sense of community within the MID and the surrounding area. The MID project is also expected to have positive impact on the environment. The district, as it is very much evident, will be established in a manner to be energy efficient and better for the environment, with a focus on renewable energy sources and green transportation options. This will help to reduce the environmental footprint of the MID and contribute to the overall sustainability of the region. Overall, the Milano Innovative District is expected to bring significant benefits to Milan and the surrounding region. Its combination of economic, social, and environmental benefits makes it a project that has the potential to have a lasting and positive impact on the region. While the MID project has the potential to bring significant benefits to Milan and the surrounding region, it has also faced a number of challenges and controversies. 
One key challenge faced by the MID project is the opposition of some local residents and community groups. Some have raised concerns about the potential impact of the MID on the surrounding area, including issues such as traffic and overcrowding. There have also been concerns about the potential loss of green space as the MID project involves the construction of new buildings and infrastructure on previously undeveloped land. In addition to opposition from local residents, the MID project has also faced legal and regulatory challenges. The development of the MID has required a number of approvals and permits from various government agencies, and the process has not always been smooth. There have also been disputes over the allocation of land and other resources for the MID project, which have delayed its progress. Finally, there have been concerns about the potential environmental impacts of the MID project. Some have questioned the sustainability of the district's design and operations, and there have been concerns about the potential impact of the MID on air and water quality in the surrounding area. In general, while the Milano Innovative District has the potential to bring significant benefits to Milan and the surrounding region, it has also faced a lot of issues and controversies that have slowed its progress and sparked debate among local residents and stakeholders. It is difficult to predict with certainty whether the MID project will be successful. The success of a project of this size and complexity depends on a wide range of factors, including the quality of the planning and execution, the level of support from local residents and stakeholders, and external economic and political conditions. There are certainly a number of challenges and issues for this project, as we discussed before, but ultimately the success of the MID project will depend on how well it is able to navigate these challenges and deliver on its goals. If the project is able to overcome these challenges and achieve its objectives, it could be a major success for Milan and the surrounding region. However, if the project is unable to overcome these challenges, it may struggle to achieve its goals and realize its full potential. It is possible that the MID project could inspire other countries to develop similar projects. If the MID project is successful, it could serve as a model for other cities and regions around the world looking to create similar hubs for innovation and technology. The MID project has a number of features that could be attractive to other cities and regions looking to develop similar projects. However, it is important to note that the success of the MID project is not guaranteed and other cities and regions may face different challenges and opportunities when developing similar projects. It is likely that the MID project will serve as a useful reference and inspiration for other cities and regions looking to develop similar projects, but it will be up to each individual city or region to determine the best approach for their specific circumstances. That's the end of the video, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also, let us know in the comments section which topics we should cover for our next exciting video. We'll be back with another video very soon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up.